favour of Lisa Ashton. 13 of those 25. have been at the women's series. Four wins for Fallon Bullseye. So Fallon's in their won the 13 ball. women's series meetings. Seven of those meetings have, of course, been in finals, but Lisa has won four of their last five meetings. So time to tuck into this one. But before that, Chris Murphy, you've been having a little look ahead at the draw for the second event of the day. What's really caught your eye? Well, interestingly, I think the most pertinent point is that for the second tournament on the spin, Fallon Cherick and Bo Greaves are in opposite halves of the draw. So that means that they could effectively meet in the final of both events today. And it also means that we could get a one-match shootout in the second event to see who makes it through to the World Championship. Uh, in this event, of course, Fallon and Lisa are in the same half. That's 60. why they're meeting in the semis. But Lisa is in the same half as Bo for the next event rather than Fallon. And actually takes on Kirsty Hutchinson in the opening match. So that is a, a tough start for her. Bo Greaves faces Lorraine Hyde. Not the easiest start for her either. Fallon Sherrick has got probably 100. the pick of the draws for those top three when she meets Juliet Finley and should get through her board. And it's Fallon who's got off to the better start in this one. 98. Just sets that up for when she returns for tops. The possibility of Bo Fallon final in that one. Possibility of a 60. Bo Fallon final in this one because Bo Greaves is taking on Natalie Gilbert in the semi-finals on one Game of the outside shot. boards, but Fallon winning the ball may be a crucial factor in this match, winning the first leg as well and doing it, leaving Lisa Ashton in the distance. 80. Well, that's unlucky. It was straight out of the treble 20, wasn't it? And you mentioned there that it could be a straight shootout. They could, of course, meet in the final of this event as well. Nine, Which six. one of their mindsets would you rather have heading into that final? Because they'll both approach it very confident, given that they have such strong mindsets. But which would you rather have going into that one? The carefree attitude of Bo, maybe? It's difficult to answer because Fave, that's what works seven. best for her. But Fallon's mindset of performing under pressure seems to work best for her as well so i think they kind of cancelled each other out to be honest 100. it does mean that whoever if it, if it is indeed that final of course lisa ashton will have plenty to say about that but it does mean that whoever wins it will be in the best position 45. if fallon were to win the final against Bo, it would really strengthen her chances because she'd suddenly be 650 pounds ahead 83. rather than the 250 that she started the day and that would mean Bo would have to win the next tournament. And 47. Fallon not make the final, I believe. Double top. Well, it's a, a really 38. dominant leg from Fallon in leg one. It's a equally dominant display from Lisa Ashton in leg two. It is indeed. And She's going to need that time. Those two darts missed a 45. double in the previous visit. We saw a bit of double trouble for Lisa Ashton, didn't we, a little bit earlier on when we had her on the stream? Game but shot. pins double ten at the first time of asking to level proceedings here. Lisa Ashton, if she does win this match and reach the final, just as a side note, will become the first woman to make it to £10,000 on a women's series order of merit prize money list. Yeah, really impressive the way she's digging in and still getting to these semi-finals because, as she said at the start of the day, she's maybe searching for that little bit extra, knowing that she's not really 43. got to turn up and do anything this weekend. So she's just been maybe searching for that extra bit of bite and aggression. 40. And it's Natalie Gilbert in the other semi-final who's taken the opening leg against Bo Greaves. But interestingly, if Bo does win that match and Fallon doesn't win this one, 39. then it's going to either be Bo Greaves 350 pounds ahead going into the last event as the winner, or remarkably, if she loses in the final to Lisa Ashton, she will find herself 22. 50 pounds behind Fallon Sherrick going into the last event. This one's level, 95. and as Abby just said, Gilbert's heading the other one, so 
plenty of darts to be thrown until we get to that point. Indeed, and not a bad start from Bo Greaves at the start of one that two second two. leg, going out 1-2-1, one, 140-140 one, one one to leave herself a ton. And Lisa Ashton here has a chance to break Fallon Sherrick after a fantastic start. Ten. Sherrick flying out of the traps. Suddenly Lisa Ashton has put a foot down on the accelerator and there is nothing Sherrick can do to avoid being broken here. She has to hope for mistakes from the Lancashire Rose. 65. Yeah, four darts missed at double so far in this match from Lisa Ashton. Make that five. Game but shot. she pins double nine to take a lead in this one. Just at the time that Lisa Ashton goes in front, Bo Greaves levels against Natalie Gilbert. It is a slightly longer format, so more opportunity to get back into a game that might otherwise have gotten away from you earlier in the day. 60. Yeah, really impressive the way Lisa Ashton's grown into this one after the first leg. How many times have we seen Fallon Sherrick come 60. out of the blocks like that and then maintain that level over the course of a match? But it's credit to Lisa Ashton. She's stopped her in her tracks early on in this one. 46. And of course, if Lisa Ashton does beat Fallon Sherrick here, she'll be wanting a favour from Lisa in the final. 100. She would look back at those four events that she didn't attend because she was at the World Series, but look, you can't blame no, her for choosing the World Series, can you? Now, I'm pretty sure that the promoters, the PDC and all of the associate promoters in the, the countries that she went to were desperate for her to 100. play there as well because she is a big, big selling factor. Yeah, and she has to ride that wave at the moment you can't blame her at all and i was 60. fortunate to go out to a number of the events just as a fan i was out in the crowds and the reaction to fallon sherrick 80. and the reaction from lisa had she been able to pin the double 19 there would have been similar but the reaction from the crowds in copenhagen and and in other venues it was just so 41. different when fallon sherrick was approaching the walk on because everyone wanted a piece of that and it was different to even the likes of Michael Van Gerwen. Well Game that could shot. be a really important moment in this match. Sherrick hasn't been in the last three legs. Lisa wasn't in the first one and Fallon Sherrick has not found her scoring. Ashton finds herself 3-1 up and well she might need a reaction at the end of this match although she might be finding one mid-match. Yeah far too many trebleless visits in those 100. previous three legs but not a bad way to rectify that and put that right at the start of this one oh, i thought that was a perfect <laughs> dart to follow as well you know 100. she'll be disappointed to only have scored 100 after that first start was pitched perfectly in the treble 20 but what she will be happy with 85. is some power scoring at the start of a leg having not even been in finishing range. I think she was on 170 in one of the legs that Lisa won and not on a finish in the other two. Yeah, and just to hey, keep you updated at this stage because both games are so important. It's Natalie Gilbert who's retaken the lead in her semi-final over Bo Greaves. It's now 2-1, but Bo Greaves is down to a finish after 12. One hundred. Well, she's left herself double nineteen, persevering with the treble twenty. There, it looked blocked actually, but she managed to find her way, and it was a good dart. But I just 95. wonder if she'll think about splitting this. Lisa's on a big finish. She'll go straight for it. I could split it now, actually. I think it's an underutilized shot. shot, but Fallon Sherrick knows better than me and throws better than most. Three two. You said better than most. You are still including yourself in that one, right? 45. Yes. I don't think there's any doubt that every <laughs> single person in that arena throws better than me, but she throws better than most of them down there. She's found something, hasn't she? All of a sudden. It's a really strange game of darts so far. There hasn't been a leg where both players have been Fair in the same the range. End. Yeah. It it's looked like Fallon Sherrick after the first leg looked like she was going to race away with it. Then the next three legs, Lisa was going to run away with it. And now 
You wouldn't rule Fallon Sherrick out of fourth in the last leg decider, especially when she goes downstairs and finds two trebles like that. 60. The Bo Greaves is deadlock with Natalie Gilbert, but averaging 100 in that match after four legs. A standard that she's been threatening to produce Three, all day, knocking on the door of three figures. Yeah, Natalie Gilbert still giving her 45. a good run, though. It's <laughs> <laughs> very lethargic. She trusted the dart not to drop there, didn't she, Lisa Ashton? I get the sense she thinks that this leg may well be 60. over already. Do you think Rebecca Haywood would have run for that dart? She might have, but she still might not have got it. 99. Right then, 110 to tie up the match and effectively take back control of it because Fallon Sherrick would have the darts. Game Superb shot. from Fallon Sherrick, that 110 checkout to level proceedings here. And it looked for a little while like Lisa Ashton was going to run away with this one, didn't it? But she's back on level terms and two away from a final. And at the very same 60. time, Natalie Gilbert has gone in front against Bo Greaves. So she leads 3-2. It was looking ominous for Fallon Sherrick at 3-1 behind and Bo Greaves 80. tied at 2-all. But now Fallon Sherrick has squared this up, has a dart in two of the last three legs and Natalie Gilbert is currently in the box seat 100. in the semi-final. Yeah, it's funny, we were talking earlier, weren't we, about Natalie Gilbert and that one run she had to the Three, final, eight. but not really able to replicate that in many of the other events she's played in, but she's certainly plucking out some of her best here. Yeah, absolutely, and, and she still didn't have a kind draw, you know. It is, it's almost becoming a, a running joke that the hard draws that Natalie Gilbert gets. 100. In her first match today, she was pitted against Marlene Badger, but then she had Trina Gulliver, Vicky Prum, and Anastasia Dobromoslova. 100. Yeah, I think her and Corinne Hammond may be able to sympathise with each other with the draws they've been given this weekend. 47. So 1-4-1 one, one for Fallon Sherrick, and again, she's on a finish. Lisa Ashton is nowhere near. Yeah, Lisa Ashton just shaking her head at the back 45. of the... 45. This, this could be the moment. One big score here, and Ashton has an opportunity. You'd think it needs to be two trebles. 56. But she can't get one, so Sherrick should, in this visit or the next, move to within one of a place in the final for the first time this weekend. Game Superb shot. from Fallon Sherrick, pinning that double eight. And just as we've confirmed throughout the course of this weekend, she really does produce her best when under enormous 100. pressure. She's doing so again here. And she's now within one leg of the final. And it's been, there have been quite a few twists and turns, haven't 60. there? But the way she's able to produce this time and time again, and it's, it's not always when she's in control of a match from the outset just the way that she just looked down and out at times in this match wasn't able to find a treble in the middle part of the match and then having gone 3-1 down manages to go off 180 at the start of the next level uh, leg and it's a superb level being produced at the moment yeah well it's three legs on the spin as you say but it's also her two biggest checkouts of the day back to back from 3-2 behind in this match, 110 followed by the 96. 4-3 to Fallon in this one, 3-3 three, three in the Greaves Gilbert match, but I believe that Bo is on the brink of a break, Abby. She is indeed. What a start to that leg from Bo Greaves. 140, 60. 140, 180. Natalie Gilbert way back on 3-3-7 in that one. Speaking of 180s, not quite from Fallon Sherrick, but it's not a disaster. It does still get it down to a finish. Well, I mentioned she's had her two biggest finishes in the last couple of legs. She could supersede that by some distance here. It's not going to go. 
So Lisa Ashton 60. to level things once more. And that yet. double 18 hasn't been kind to her, has it, in this match? Yeah, it's usually one of her go-tos as well. Will Fallon Sherrick be going to the final? Game she will. Short on the match. Fallon it's Sherrick. It's the third consecutive.